Hi, everybody. Shannon O'Flaherty here, and uh, I'm so happy to be here tonight. I'm doing this in a different way. I'm using the Zoom platform so that I could actually show you some pictures. And um, I have I have Romina helping me get online. So apologies for the slight delay. So um, this welcome to this training, which is the three keys to consistent alignment. And here you can see a picture of a clear diamond and a pixelated clear diamond. And so the first key to consistent alignment is what I'm calling the pixelated purification process, P3. So if you can imagine yourself as a clear diamond, because we all love to be our greatest, most brilliant self, in a well-faceted gemstone, a ray of light passing into the top of it undergoes total internal reflection and is returned to the eyes of the beholder as brilliance, right? just like ourselves. When we go within, we have internal reflection and then our vibration changes and then we give off another vibration to those who are experiencing us. So the reflected rays that are inside the diamond are also refracted and they create those beautiful flashes of color that we see when we look at a gemstone, just like people all of our beautiful, colorful, unique personalities, right? So most diamonds, in fact, I think all, even the clearest diamonds have some inclusions in them or faults. An inclusion is a fault, which detract from the brilliance of the diamond, okay? So you can, you can think about those faults as maybe like your wounding deep inside or your shadow parts. And when there's faults, no light can get into that part of the diamond and therefore there can be no internal reflection and no light can come out. In fact, if you think about black diamonds, they're so included that no light can come out. And I'll show you a picture of one of those in a minute. But if you took that diamond and put it on a screen and pixelated it, like I've done here, you can still see the dark spots. So you could see, like they might not be very obvious to the naked eye, our wounding. We don't go all around and people go, oh, look, they were abandoned as a child, or oh, look, their parent died, or whatever it was. People don't see our wounding on the outside, but we carry it around within us subconsciously. And it might not detract very much from the light that we shine, but it could weigh heavy on our souls. And when it's pixelated, you can see these dark shadow parts. So the whole, and a pixel basically is just a minute area of illumination on a screen. Let's call it the screen of life. And so what we wanna do is find these dark pixels that we have in ourselves and illuminate them. So here's an image of a diamond that's filled with inclusions that you can see, well, in this close-up picture of it anyway, you can see all of these inclusions in this diamond, all of these dark spots and wounding. And here's this black diamond, and though very beautiful, essentially, if you could imagine this diamond here with even more inclusions, then it would be completely dark because no light can get out. No light can get in and no light can get out. And this is the problem when people are so wounded and carrying around all of these woundings their whole life, they get, it dulls their brilliance. They get heavier and heavier and it's harder for any of their beautiful light to get out. And so sometimes we don't even know why we're angry 
or stuck or sad or frustrated or feeling unworthy or apathetic, consider all of these are inclusions in our soul. These are the dark pic pixels that if we were pixelated, if our souls were pixelated, we'd see these dark spots. And that's what the P3 theory is about discovering what these dark spots are so that we can find a way to go in and heal them. And this is the next key, which is called energetic dispersion theory. And what we want to do here is once we've identified what all of those dark spots are, our core woundings, we can then illuminate them. So I train all of my students to spread white light into their full spectrum of their inner wavelength. In other words, your inner being. So when you disperse pure positive energy into every spectrum of your life, it affects all of your wavelengths and it changes your frequency and your vibration and dynamically impacts the direction of your life. And obviously this enhances your abundance because you're refracting, giving out more light and every, of your, every aspect of your life then becomes lighter. So like this image here, we're putting in what pure clear white love light into every cell of our body and we're getting rid of those dark pixelated parts that are holding us back and keeping us stuck. And that's the second key. And then the third key is what I'm calling shamanic electromagnetic infusion. And this is because we are not just the prism, prism of light that is our bodies, but we also have our energy body. And so we want to address that too, because we are electrical beings. When we have this electric polarity running through us, which we all do, Whenever there's a polarity, there's going to be a magnetic realm around it, a magnetic field around it. And um, there's loads more actual magnetic realms than just in, in this image here, but our heart has a huge magnetic realm. Our brain does, we're just, and this is a sort of shape of a toroidal field. And we're tor toroids on top of toroids <laughs> and giving out this energy field. And things get stuck in our energy field too. And so what I do is teach my students how to work with their own electromagnetic field and also how to work with energy generally and with other people's energy and how to see and feel the unseen so that they can remove stuck energy because energy gets stuck in this field too and infuse their clients with dynamic pulsing energy to help sustain and open all of your inner energy channels for optimum health. I've had amazing success um, helping people increase their energy if they're feeling really slow and really tired all of the time, if they have aches and pains. I've helped people get out of knee braces. I've helped people heal from injuries much faster. And um, I, I've even cleared up some really intimate physical ailments too, which we won't get into right now. But it's absolutely amazing what is possible when you start to work with energy. And of course, the first place that you need to start is to notice what you're thinking, which is my free offer in the ebook, Three Shifts to Self-Talk Awareness. And then you can apply these three keys to consistent alignment because all we have to do as humans on a day-to-day -day basis is stay in alignment. Because if we're changing our mindset and finding our 
dark pixels are wounded parts and then infusing everything with light and clearing out the stuff that doesn't need to be there that's holding us stuck and sad and upset and angry and frustrated and feeling like we cannot move forward, then we can expand and our energy field expands and our vibration expands. And then we can shine our brightest light and everybody we encounter will see that and feel that. I know, cause I'm living proof of this. I've radically changed my own life and I've helped thousands of people to change theirs. And I would really love to help you change your life too. So these are the three keys to consistent alignment. And every week on Tuesday nights at this time, I'm going to be giving a live training, not just the normal Facebook lives anymore. I'm going to give you a live training and we're going to start with the chakra system and work our way from the root chakra all the way up so that you can understand what kind of belief systems and what kind of ailments and problems on all sorts of levels happen in each one of our energy centers all the way up so that I'd love to provide you guys with the most value possible and then I'd love to invite those of you who are ready to come and work with me too. It's been a great pleasure and honor to share all of this with you now and I look forward to hearing your comments in underneath this video. Lots of love and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.